Mike Colbreeze, who is the now the retired uh, former director of the Washington State uh, Interscholastic uh, Athletic Association, yeah. uh, told me specifically that high schools now are looking for people with business knowledge to run their athletic departments. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that is? Well, at the end of the day, uh, you've got to cover your expenses. And I think that's getting harder and harder in the education environment with uh, funding cuts to, to uh, all kinds of programs. And so I think having that and having a scenario where you know how to sell a few sponsorships at the right price and the right product around your high school football stadium or gym, um, knowing how to price tickets and, and creating probably the best food and beverage experience you can create, all those things will add up and then help fund those programs more. And then there's been a proliferation of um, club sports uh, that are geared to youth where they're, you know, they're called the select sports. Yeah. And so parents are paying out a lot, an awful lot of money. Yeah. Uh, but I've talked with quite a few of the people who run those programs and they still say that it's not enough, that they have to subsidize it all the time. Is there something else that they can do from a sports management standpoint to make their product better? You know, maybe I, I don't know enough about the club sport level. My, my kids are a little bit too young or disinterested to be um, on that. And, and I think I have a lot of opinions on, on some aspects of that and the, the purity of it and the opportunity um, that, that it can take away. Um, but I think in general, you still have to be able to, if you're going to run a club, you have to go get sponsorship dollars to help fund that club. You've got to be smart on your expense side. You've got to, you know, underwriting as much as your operation, I think would be what you want to do via sponsorships. Can't really sell tickets, but you do charge the, the kids and the families to, to play on that kind of select level. Um, and I think there's some programs that are really successful at it, especially in the basketball world. Um, sometimes that success comes with all kinds of corrupt and, and nefarious things going on, but I think uh, there's some great examples of those, but I don't know how to do it as, as you look at just like a smaller regional level before you get to kind of that best of the best level, but certainly knowing how, it, how to sell and market your club is no different than needing to know how to sell and market your business, your professional sports team, whatever it is.